एवोल्यूशनरी चेंजेस चाहे वो स्लो रेट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन पे हो रहे हैं या वो एक फास्टर और रैपिड रेट पर हो रहे हैं इन बोथ केसेस ये एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोसेस ये वेरिएशंस और न्यू ट्रेड्स दे आर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ चेंजेस इन जेनेटिक मेकअप व्हिच इज डीएनए सो अल्टीमेटली सारे चेंजेस जो कि किसी भी फिनोटाइप में अपीयर होते हैं दीज चेंजेस आर हैपनिंग इन डीएनए and these are actually the changes which are occurring in dna uh, sequences the sequences of uh, nitrogenous bases in dna and uh, the sequences of amino acids in peptides or the proteins so hame malum hai ke um, molecular evolution which is responsible for actual evolution or evolution in phenotype and then the genotype this is a product of changes in डीएनए एंड प्रोटीन्स सो इस मोलिकुलर एवोल्यूशन को कुछ थोड़े से इसकी बेसिस को और फाउंडेशन को स्टडी करने के लिए वी वॉच दिस वीडियो इफ एवरी लिविंग क्रीचर ऑन अर्थ डिसेंडेड फ्रॉम वन स्पीसीज दैट कुड परफॉर्म लाइफ बेसिक फंक्शन रेप्लीकेशन मेटाबोलिज्म एक्सेट्रा देन नॉट ओनली शुड वी इनहेरिट दो फंक्शनल केपेबिलिटीज बट वी शुड ऑल्सो इनहेरिट द स्ट्रक्चर यूज टू परफॉर्म दीज फंक्शन So a testable prediction of the idea of common descent is that all life should have similar structures that execute life's basic processes. And they do. Down past the cellular level and down to the molecules that support life's processes. All life on earth shares the same molecules that allow life to function. Regardless of species, the polynucleotides like dna and rna polypeptides like proteins and polysaccharides like starches and glucose are identical dna rna and proteins all have the same chemical form in spite of the fact that there are dozens of possibilities that would work all life uses the same four molecules adenine, cytosine, thymine, guanine in the DNA ladder although there are more than 100 that could be used all life bases its replication on the duplication of the DNA molecule the proteins found in all life on earth use the same 20 amino acids in their makeup while there are almost 400 that could have been used All life on earth shares the same universal genetic code built into its DNA. The letters on the DNA ladder taken 3 at a time form coded instructions as to which amino acids should be joined together to form a protein. Every species on earth uses the identical code to perform this function. Bacteria uses exactly the same code for making proteins. that humans do All life on earth shares the same metabolic pathways In all life based on cells with a nucleus from amoebas to blue whales glucose is metabolized in the same 10 steps in the same order using the same 10 enzymes Thousands of new species are discovered yearly and have their DNA proteins sequenced examined Nearly 50 million new bases are sequenced every day and everyone is tested of the theory of common descent. It passes every test. There are enough different possible genetic codes, all functionally equivalent and all using the same amino acids for every species that has ever lived to have its own unique code. If there were no common ancestor from whom all life inherited this code, it would make sense to expect a wide variety of codes. This would protect each species from interspecies viral infections. The lack of variety indicates common origin. So we studied uh, this molecular evolution. We studied the importance of uh, DNA and uh, these proteins. in the process of evolution ultimately uh, koi bhi variation it is depending upon genes 
एंड इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीन्स विच आर प्रोटीन्स सो ये मोलिकुलर एवोल्यूशन इट हैज टू डिफरेंट वेज जिसमें से एक फर्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एज कंजर्व एवोल्यूशन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नॉन कंजर्व एवोल्यूशन सो कंजर्व एवोल्यूशन की एग्जाम्पल इज साइटोक्रोम सी एंड साइटोक्रोम सी इज द प्रोटीन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन एंड साइटोक्रोम सी इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स एंड इट इज प्लेइंग द सेम रोल इन ऑल the organisms which are eukaryotes so um uh, their structure is same their function is same uh, or we can say it is very much similar this is indicating ke ek ek lamba or process jo hai evolution ka ke jab se eukaryotes develop hue hain aur tab se lekar ab tak millions of years they have passed and we have many species of eukaryotes and uh, in these many species of eukaryote cytochrome c has not changed in structure and function it means the structure of cytochrome c or those genes which are responsible for synthesis of cytochrome c they haven't changed over the time period of these millions of years so um uh, this type of evolution is called as conserved evolution and this conserved evolution means ki aise do eukaryotic species which are uh, distantly apart or we can say these are distantly related for example fishes or mammals or we can say that for example um, a one eukaryote which is um, a part of uh, a very initial uh, phase uh, classes of uh, invertebrates for example porifers so the one porifer species and one mammalian species which is present at the top of classification so ek bilkul below hai us classification table mein ek classification table ke top par hai lekin in dono species mein jo ki ek porifer se hai aur ek mammalian species hai they have same structure of cytochrome c and they have same sequences of nitrogenous bases in the genes of cytochrome c so this type of evolution is called conserved evolution and it shows uh, that there is possibility ke ye dono groups which is porifers and the mammals they have evolved from uh, the same ancestor maybe like billions of years ago so their origin was same because this is a conserved sequence of cytochrome c in all eukaryotes so these are uh, the highly conserved proteins and uh, they are helpful in establishing these evolutionary relationships among the distantly related organisms uh, some uh, opposite to these uh, conserved uh, evolution conserved sequences of genes uh, there are uh, certain non conserved sequences of genes as well uh, which means those those groups uh, or the different species uh, they uh, certain particular types of species they uh, they have that sequence of genes but that sequence of gene is altered in other uh, groups of species so um wo sequence ek particular sequence jo hai wo genes ka wo sirf ek limited number ya closely uh, related uh, jo species hain individuals hain unke liye to same hai but uh, it is different from other groups uh, isko hum explain kar sakte hain for example in the case of placental mammals um they have this developed this character of uh, placenta so uh, these placental uh, those species which have uh, placenta Uh, they have the genes for development of placenta but it is absent in other groups of mammals which uh, haven't developed placenta through the process of evolution so uh, this is called as a non conserved sequence of genes or non conserved evolution so that's how uh, this molecular evolution in the sequence of genes in the sequence of amino acid it can be conserved or it can be non conserved